Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get your, your vehicle that you built and asset forged into Unreal Engine uh, 4. So uh, as you usually do, save it and then export the model as an FBX. Okay, so we've already done this. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my Unreal Engine project, create a folder called plane, and I'm going to go and import the plane. So we're going to go wherever you download it. Make sure you pay attention to where you put it. And we just import all. I'm going to show you a little trick. Now, this plane comes in kind of plain looking. I don't know, there's a pun maybe. Uh, and what I want to do is add some color. So, what I'm going to do is drop this window so it's floating like this. Then I'm going to go to my starter content and get some nicer looking materials. So under materials, there's some metallics here. So, I'll, I think I'll go with this one so i click on it and there you go so you got the metallic below i'm going to i think this is the window and i i checked and i like this one looked really good so there you got that cool looking window and maybe the top you know i mean play around with this i'm gonna do a wooden plane even though it makes very little sense okay and i'm really happy with that so i'm gonna save that I'm probably done with it, but I can drop it up there. And what I want to do now is place it somewhere in my level that, uh, you know, is it visible and attracts attention. So go to my plane folder and I'm going to just drop it. And you'll see if you bring it in from Asset Forge, it'll be really small. So what I'm going to do is make it really big, you know, using the WER tools on your keyboard. So there it is. And so that looks pretty good. So now we have the plane in, um, and a lot like what we did with our elevators, we're going to trigger this to basically fly away. So what I'm going to do now is go to my level sequence, and if you don't have a cinematics folder, you might want to create one. And I am going to animation, create a level sequence, and I'll call it plane fly or something like that. Double click on it. And what I do is basically click on the plane, it'll show up here. And uh, what I want to do is drag it in like that. And you see the transform track, that's really important. And we're also going to use this auto key thing. It's really useful. So what I'm going to do, if this is not on, turn it on. And I'm going to click the W key. And I'm going to step back a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. So at the beginning, I want to start there. So I take create, create a keyframe. Then, you know, I like having this in seconds. If ever you don't, just show times in seconds. That's so much better uh, for, for like, you know, we know like this is one second. Maybe if I go here and I have the auto key on, I'm going to lift this up so the plane goes up like this. And maybe I make it even go sort of diagonal a little bit. So because your character is going to hit it here. And so you'll see it more. Then I am going to, you know, slowly make it advance. So the character has time to see what's happening. And maybe even a little bit more. And select from the middle so you get a little more. Well, that be careful because I think I will just use the front and top arrows. And then maybe go here. And, you know, one thing you may want to do is. This is usually, so five seconds is not very long. So maybe we want to go 15 seconds. So type that. And how do you lengthen it? You just pull that here. And this is actually what's going to be filmed. So you want it to go a lot further. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to start really kind of go like that and maybe like this. And over here, I'm going to just yank it as far away as I can. And let's have a look. Did I lower it? I don't know. We'll see. So let me see how it looks here. So you want it to fly away really fast, I guess. All right. So I'll press the space bar. Is it going to press play or press play here? Start. Let's start. Uh, sometimes it's like that. Okay. Press the space bar. This is what it's going to look like. 
and then it should go really fast okay like as if it takes off now i'm going to do something else i'm going to add an audio track so we're going to go to audio track and i already went and found a jet sound so go to and go to youtube find one download as a wave file okay not an mp3 and what you do is i'm going to go and get jet okay so there you go and you know there's a little bit of a silent thing at the beginning so i'm going to go and start it like this that way that whenever it'll play we'll get to hear it so let's see what it sounds like so there you go that's what i want i want it to, to go really fast whenever the sound is gone and then it's it's totally gone so now, really important, click Save here. Um, go over here, click Save All. And now what I want to do is create the trigger. Now, how am I going to do that? Well, every level that you make has a level sequence, so a level blueprint. So what I'm going to do is click on Blueprints and go Open Level Blueprint. But before I do that, I need to create uh, the trigger that uh, we need. So um, just going to reopen the sequence and bring the jet back. So this is one of these little weird quirks. You got to bring the jet back so, and, you know, let's click, press play. Let's go make sure this looks good in our level. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And maybe, by the way, you want to make the jet bigger. It seems a little bit small here. So I'll use WER. Not too late to do that. Make it a little bigger. So it's a little more, like, surprising when he sees it or whatever. That's why we're play testing. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to create the box trigger. So type box trigger and drag it in. Now, it depends on how you're doing this, but I'm going to make mine really big. So I, I want, now they could go and jump around on the jet, but as soon as they hit the box trigger, you could put like a shiny thing or something in here. And when they touch it, you know, the, it flies away. Or, or encourage them to run into the box because if they came running in from this side the jet wouldn't go anywhere until they hit this which is what we want um, now the other thing that we are see also obviously learned is we need to drag the sequence in the level make sure it's activated and then uh, give me a second here okay so I'm going to open the uh, level blueprint for this level and if you see i did have i go like this and make it float and i and well i probably don't need to because i did have my level sequence selected so that's really important i'm going to right click create reference to whatever my level sequence was called mine was called plane fly and what i want to do too here is i want to select my box so just type box here if you can't find it or trigger and I'm going to also uh, add so why did I select it because it's easier when I select is add on actor begin overlap so we already know that this is what we want to do so um, I just dragged out a do once uh, before I do that, I want to go and get the proper, so just type sequence. And you will see as you scroll down that there's one that's called play sequence player. So that's the one you're looking for. Okay, there's a couple others, so be careful. You know, link that in here. I'm going to compile and save. And just wait for that to be done. And let's go and test it out. So file, click play. And I'm going to go and run in it and see. Oh. And there it goes. Okay, so then I'm, the jet is gone. So you could put a couple of those in your level, really. But So it came back, but what you do is just click on the level sequence and go pause at end so that it doesn't come back, and that'll solve the problem. So if you have any questions, please let me know, and uh, good luck.